In this uh, presentation, I would like to talk about uh, reading a driver card using a uh, simple smart card reader. There are a lot of uh, smart card readers out there in the market, but there are some issues uh, to solve, especially when you use Windows XP or Vista or Windows 7. Uh, you have to activate um, smart card service what I'm going to show you uh, later in order to uh, download the files and um, download a file from um, from a driver card just switch to uh, a digital view using this button and then use this button here uh, then choose an appropriate uh, smart card reader. I have uh, a lot of smart card readers here um, installed. So I'm gonna use this um, smart card reader and just hit acquire. And your smart card reader should have your um, LED light, LED light um, blinking or whatever. And uh, just wait 40, 50 seconds and it should be downloaded. After a successful download, there should be uh, some details in here. Uh, name, sorry, name, card number and an information about di digital signature and from this uh, window from this view you can uh, preview your file uh, and then you can just uh, save save it to your uh, hard drive to uh, and then you can also import your file to the uh, database and of course, there are uh, some details here, names, surname, card number, uh, the organization, the company that issued this card, date of issue, expiry date, and the last date of, uh, the date of last control inspection, uh, what was the date of uh, downloading, and what is the next uh, download, and information about dig digital signature, some uh, details you can find in here about uh, each segment, if uh, the signature is correct or not. What you have here is actually everything without um, everything which you can find in um, Annex Annex One B. And um, let's go back to general data. And in here, you can find a card status. Um, this means that uh, this card with this number uh, is not on, uh, we're, we're not stolen or damaged. Uh, the program downloads uh, this data from. Uh, from a Polish site, uh, from a Polish issuer, but of course um, we are ready to um, download the data from other issuers. And then uh, just click OK and it asks you about adding the new driver to the database. Yes, those are the, uh, those are the um, details that you have to Put in the card number. Here you can um, you can choose uh, the dates of uh, expire expiration of medical certification, driver qualification, and all others. And this is a very useful tool. Every time you uh, start your uh, Tahoe Speed, um, there is a reminder that will. Um, remind you about those um, important uh, dates 
click add and in here uh, you have the list of uh, vehicles that were used by this driver in this uh, period and just click save as okay in here you also have some uh, some dates that you can uh, put in so Tao Speed could uh, remind all those uh, dates for you add add all right and uh, uh, after uh, importing your file you will have uh, this file uh, saved inside our database uh, and you will have this information in a digital files repository and just in here and like I said before there are some issues with uh, smart card readers not every time there uh, you will be able to use your smart card reader uh, not not on every uh, Windows system that's why um, you have to make sure that smart card service is active all the time just uh, go to start then choose uh, control panel okay and in the classic view just uh, choose administrative tools and their their uh, pick services after that you have to find a smart card service okay you will have it in here and just make sure you're gonna switch that to starter type automatic so every time you're gonna start your system the smart card service uh, will be activated so, okay so after after uh, downloading uh, and reading a file importing to the database you can just go ahead and and um, print your reports.